Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gala Music Node. Now, the Gala Music Node is a streaming platform on Web3, so it's going to be similar to Spotify or Apple Music. However, this is a decentralized version. It's definitely a very streamlined, clean app that you can download and install on your phone. Uh, you can run it through the browser on your computer. The Web3 infrastructure is going to need a place to store everything. Nodes is going to be one of those components. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a node on a network that's going to be hosting music or music tracks. For hosting those music tracks, we're going to be earning rewards as people play them. And we're also going to be earning a percentage of the rewards for the ecosystem. I've been interested in Gala and Gala music nodes for a long time. Time. So right now the node is somewhat reasonable for me to purchase with what I've purchased over time and what I'm going to be topping it up with. The overall price of a Gala node is going to be about $1,800. The Gala node has to be purchased with the Gala music token. So Gala has its own chain. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. I'm going to just tell you that right off the bat because the Gala token that you're typically going to be buying from an exchange is going to be on the Ethereum network. What you're going to have to do is bring it over to your Gala dashboard and use the Gala bridge to put it on the Gala chain. So the Gala chain is their own chain. It's the part of their decentralized network. That's where all their tokens are stored. And you're gonna have to take your Gala tokens, bridge it over to the Gala chain, and then you can go ahead and purchase that node. You're gonna need some Ethereum in your wallet to handle transaction fees. I definitely encourage you to have a little bit extra of the Gala token and Ethereum in your wallet to handle all these transaction costs. Some of the pros of Gala Music is it allows artists and fans to benefit from the platform. So this is gonna allow the artists to earn more. Because this is built on the blockchain, they're gonna get great visibility of how things are doing. And overall allows the artists to have way more control over their own music. On the other side, the listener is able to earn rewards from listening to tracks. They're gonna gain exclusive access to those artists that are on the platform, also gain access to events and even get merch. Like I had mentioned, Gala has a wide variety of nodes. They have film nodes, game nodes, but today we're going to be doing the music node. The music node that we're going to be setting up is called a jukebox node. In terms of income for hosting this node, node operators will receive 10% of the distribution for operating their node and contributing to the general ecosystem, as well as 25% based on tracks listens and pair tracks. Uh, for hosting the node, you can host it yourself. You can download the software for Windows or Linux. I'm going to be hosting mine where I host everything else right now, and that's going to be over at Node Orbit. For that, you just need to get the API key from the dashboard. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'll walk you through the entire process of purchasing the node and then setting it up. So let's get started. In order for us to buy a Gala Jukebox node, what we're going to need to do is buy the music token. There's several different places that you can buy it. Uniswap V3, this is the one I'll be using. But if you want to buy the token directly, you can go ahead and buy it from a centralized exchange. They have quite a few that are listed over here. Back at the music dashboard, we're going to click on the button to buy a node and to purchase one node at the current price for one node, we're looking at 62,755 music tokens. Uh, so this will vary. And the current price right now is $1,821. So it's a little under $2,000. The amount of music tokens, I definitely recommend buying more than less because the price fluctuates quite a bit. I'm gonna be using Uniswap to make this purchase. I'm gonna enter in the amount of music tokens I need. I'm gonna need approximately 0.71 Ethereum in order for me to purchase this node. So there's gonna be some price fluctuation and we also have to account for transaction fees. I have some Ethereum in my wallet. I'm gonna put in 0.75 and you can see that the price has already fluctuated. You also have to take into account gas fees and transaction costs. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna convert what I have in bulk over to the music token. You can see right here, the fee is gonna be 0.25%. There's also Ethereum cost that goes into that, which is gonna be the gas cost. Once you've confirmed all these details, you just have to click on the confirm swap button. You have to confirm this transaction with your MetaMask wallet by clicking on confirm and the swap will be submitted. I don't have the music token showing up in my wallet. So inside CoinGecko, I'm just gonna scroll down over here and I can copy the contract address and then go inside my MetaMask wallet. I'm gonna click on custom token. I'm gonna to paste that contract address in. You can see it automatically populates the symbol and the decimal. All we have to do now is just click on next. And here is my tokens, click on import and it'll automatically show up in my wallet now. And here they are. The price of Gala and music is highly volatile right now. The market's actually moving quite a bit and you can see that the price has changed. I was starting to transfer some over from some other wallets right now. Uh, what I wanna do is show you how to transfer the balance that we have 
uh, so you understand that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be bridging my music. So I'm taking it from the Ethereum mainnet chain over to the Gala chain. All right, let's go ahead and bridge it. I'm gonna do the max amount, check, confirm transaction. There we go, so it's inside my MetaMask. I just need to sign the transaction. All right, that is now confirmed. So I can close out of this window and then go back over to my balances. And it hasn't updated yet. We're gonna wait for this to update over here. Okay, so it did take a few minutes. Um, the balance did populate over here. You can see now I have 68,708 music tokens. This should be enough uh, to buy a node. I'm gonna go back over to the main window and we're gonna select buy node. The cost of the node is 67,454. I have enough to purchase the node. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because the price is just moving. So we'll click on review order. There's no gala gas fee on this one and I just have to put in my transfer code. So the transfer code is the code that you provided when you set up your account. Let me go ahead and paste that in right now and then we're going to check the terms and conditions box over here and then place order. Okay, the order has been successfully uh, submitted. I'm at node.gala.com. You have to sign in with the same user ID that you did with the rest of the Gala products. I'm over here at the dashboard. What I wanna do is create an API key. So I just have to click on the API key right over here and we're gonna click on generate. I'm gonna give it a name and then click on create and it has produced an API key. So I'm gonna be taking this API key and I'm gonna go over to my host. My host is gonna be node orbit and I'm gonna be entering that in. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down over here. I'm at monthly pricing for the Gala Games monthly cost is gonna be $12. You can see that they're hosting all the Gala ones over here. Uh, but for monthly pricing, if you do it annually, I think you save a couple of bucks. The Gala Music Node will cost $10 a month if you select the Build Annual option. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and I'm gonna go ahead and add my payment information. All right, so my order is now complete. I have now paid for my Gala Node. So we have the IP address that's being assigned and what we just need to do is go over to actions and then update node. So now this is where we're gonna be pasting in our API key. I'm gonna go back over here to the dashboard. I'm gonna click on the copy button. I'm gonna jump back over here and I'm gonna paste that in and then click on update. My node has been successfully updated. I just need to give this a little bit of time for it to register on the network. If you go back into Gala node and go into my dashboard, nothing is populating over here. I'm gonna go into management nothing is populating over here. The last step is to activate our node. So we're back at music.gala.com. We're gonna go over here into the node section. We're gonna click on that. And then you can see that I have zero of one nodes online. So right over here, there's an arrow that we're gonna click on. Uh, we have a name in this list right over here. So this is gonna be, if you have multiple ones, you have multiple names here. You're gonna select the one with the name on it. So that's the only one that I have here. I'm gonna click on it. And you can see that it's offline, player's offline. We have to activate it. Uh, you can change the name of this node by, by clicking on this pencil icon right over here. You can change it to whatever name you want. I'm just gonna leave it as a default name. We're gonna scroll down a little bit over here. And then we have the activate your player node now. So we just have to click on the activate button. And then we have to put in our transfer code. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I entered in my transfer code and I'll click on continue and you have successfully activated this node. Changes will take effect in one to two minutes. So we just gotta give a little bit of time. It's offline right now, but we'll be able to see the online status very shortly. I'll just skip over to the next step. We can see that the status is now running. If we go into our dashboard, we can see it up here. We go into node management. We're gonna select our node, and then we have a section over here called workloads. I'm just gonna switch this on. We're gonna allow the music player that's gonna be running on this now, in order for us to apply these changes, we have to restart. So we're gonna click on restart and click on yes. And now our node is gonna restart. You can see the status over here is restarting. It takes a couple minutes. This is the way it should look when it's been completed. I'm gonna go back over to the Gala Music Dashboard. I'm just clicking on the Jukebox node and we have one of one node now online. So we're up and running. Our node is up and running. We're gonna be earning rewards from the network. To earn additional rewards, you can host tracks. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just buying a track and I'm gonna be adding it to my jukebox. So I am back at my node and I just purchased a track. So I'm gonna scroll down all the way over here and I'm gonna click on the plus for a slot available. Here is the track that I just purchased. I'm going to select that and one of one slots available. I'll go ahead and click on continue. And then I just need to put in my transfer code. I'm gonna be hosting this track in my node and that's successfully added. 
So if I scroll up here to the top, you can see I am now hosting one of 10 tracks. Okay, there we go. So we have our Gala Music Jukebox node up and running on Node Orbit. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash the like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.